Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how to get started with Minecraft Java edition. And today we are going to be building a small house. So first, let's get started with the tutorial. Once you open up Minecraft, you will be greeted with this menu page. As you can see, we have three buttons, single player, multiplayer and Minecraft films. First, click on single player. So here in the single player menu, we can create our worlds. In Minecraft, worlds are like various levels. But Minecraft is a sandbox game, meaning if you create a world, you can do anything you want in it and it is endless. So in the top of the screen, you will see the create new world title under it you will see a place to insert your world name basically like a level name under that you will see your game mode selector currently it is set to survival as you can see so let me explain to you what game modes are game modes are like the settings of your level in survival mode you have a health bar you can die you have to collect your own resources and you have to keep your hunger up Creative mode is like the sandbox mode. In it, you can fly around. You have unlimited resources. It is basically so that you can build anything you want in the game. And at last, you have hardcore. It is like survival, but in normal survival mode, you can respawn once you die. In hardcore mode, it is one life only, basically like real life. If you die in hardcore, it's gone. There is no way you can retrieve your world again. Next is the difficulty on the right side of the game mode selector so the difficulty of your world defines the strength of all the monsters in your world in peaceful mode there are no monsters at all there is nothing in peaceful mode to hurt you at night so you are free to do whatever you want in easy mode there are monsters but their strength is very low they cannot hurt you that much and it's very easy to kill them same with normal mode but their strength is a bit higher, they are a little bit difficult to kill. And in hard mode, which is also the difficulty which hardcore mode is locked at, the strength of the monsters is very high and they are very hard to kill and they can kill you very easily. Let's ignore the other buttons for now since we will be discussing them at a later date. For now, in this video, I'm going to be choosing creative mode since it is the best game mode to get started with. So let's choose creative mode let's go down and click create new world let it load and as you can see our new world has loaded i am inside my world right now first off i'm going to be showing you how to move around in your world so for basic movement you will use the w a s and d keys on your keyboard and as you can see in the top right of my screen, I have the W, A, S, N, D keys. So you can see which buttons I'm pressing to move around. So basically you use the W key on your keyboard to move forward, S key on your keyboard to move back, A key to move left and D key to move right. To jump, you will use your spacebar. Just click it once and you will jump once. To crouch or sneak in the game, you will use the shift button which is right next to the Z key on your keyboard. And to look around, you will move your mouse. Combined with this, you can look to where you want to walk and hold down the W key to walk towards there. Now let's discuss usage and breaking of blocks. To use blocks, you will be using the two buttons on your mouse, left click and right click. Now to break blocks, you have to aim at a certain block and press the left click to break it. As you can see, I am breaking the block. The same thing is for punching and hitting. Aim at a certain animal and left click to punch it. Now to place blocks, you aim at the location where you want to place the block and you press right click to place the block. The same thing goes with block usage. As an example, I have a door and a fence gate here. To use it, you will aim at the block and then press right click. As you can see, I am opening and closing the door and the fence gate. Now, let's discuss how to use your inventory. Now, the inventory is where you store and get your items from. 
The creative inventory is what we will be discussing today. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see a bar with 8 slots. That is called your hot bar. It's like a small inventory or a small storage area where you can store items which you frequently use. Now if you press the E key on your keyboard, this inventory menu will pop up. This is your survival inventory but we will not be discussing this today as this is a creative tutorial. As you can see we have these icons on the top and bottom of our inventory menu. First, let's look at the building blocks menu. If you click on it, you will see all these blocks which you can build you with. All of these icons are menus in which you can find blocks of your choice. And you can scroll down here and look at all these amazing blocks which you can build using. For example, I can scroll up and find wood here. As you saw, I just got a wood item from the, this inventory and I used it and placed it over here. But you may be wondering how I got it. To get items from the creative menu, you choose the item you want, click on it and now you are holding it. Go down to your hot bar as you can see over here and place it into any of these 8 slots. Now if I press escape, and look down at my hotbar, you can see that I have that item which I put in. Now as you can see, I am switching through my hotbar, but how do I do that? Well, you can use the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8 keys on your keyboard or you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll through these slots. Each number key on your keyboard corresponds to its slot. So for example, the first slot will be key number 1. Just like that and now you can use it now let's look at the decoration menu as you can see there are flowers torches chests music boxes fences all these amazing things to decorate your builds the redstone menu is like the circuits of minecraft but we will be discussing that in another video transportation in another video but basically you can create railroads and you can get boats from here and other various items. The search items, you can search for anything you want. For example, if I want wood, I can get these logs. Now in the miscellaneous section, you can find other things which we will be discussing in another video. Food stuff, you can get food from here but this is a survival only feature uh, as you do not need food in creative mode. Tools, this is also survival only. Combat, we will be discussing that in another video. And all of these we will be discussing in another video. For now, we will be using the blocks. Now, with your new skills, we will be creating a nice little house. So, you can follow along with me or you can create your own house. It's your choice. So, to start off, I'm going to be clearing some land. Another amazing thing of creative mode is the flight mode. To use flight, you need to quickly double jump. Basically, tap your spacebar two times quickly. And now you are flying. You can move around as normal. To fly up, hold down your spacebar. To fly down, hold down the shift key. And to stop flying, double tap your spacebar again. So for the corner of my house, I'm going to use oak logs. For the walls, I'm going to use a combination of stone and wood. And for windows, I will use glass. And I'm going to use red carpet to cover my floor. And I'm going to use a bed. As you can see, I'm searching it in the search items menu. A chest just for decorations. And I'm also going to use a fence to guard my garden. Thank you. 
those are our windows I'm going to put a fence around the front to make a garden and the floor is not looking really good it's just dirt right now so I'm going to use wood planks there we go now I'm going to cover the inside with carpets So the house is already looking really nice but I'm going to take it a step further I'm, and I'm going to put a few leaves around to make it a look, look a bit nice and I'm also going to place a few flowers around. So if you followed along with me you can use your new skills to make a house just like this in Minecraft. So thank you everyone for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And you will also be notified when we upload our next Minecraft video. And be sure to stay tuned for it. Goodbye.